did you drive, drive hmm? those cars? Yeah, yeah, we did um, about a four week kind of boot camp with the, the Formula Three cars and um, and I think both of us instantly understood the addiction or attraction to the sport. You know, you, you, you feel every vibration of these, these machines and you're in, you know, inches off the ground and, and, uh, and the car is an extension of you as opposed to being something separate. And it, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful machine. And then um, during the film, uh, you know, the nature of the shoot was kind of get what you could when you could. And often one would say, quick jump in the car and they'd mount cameras all over the chassis and in the helmets to get, you know, shots of our, uh, the pupils dilating and, um, and then whip around the track. And um, that was great because I don't think, we, we did a lot more than we anticipated we were going to do. And then, you know, that's, it lends itself to a far more organic kind of uh, shooting schedule and, 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 you know, what's on screen itself as well. You, Daniel, as well, because uh, your, your performance is very uh, peculiar. Yeah, it was an intense preparation because uh, Nikki and I don't have that much in common. <laughs> so uh, uh, I had to learn a lot of things, really. I wanted to get a feel for these cars. Uh, that was the first thing, uh, um, you know, to, to, um, to understand the, the addiction to that, to that sport um, and that passion. And then um, <clears throat> I wanted to get the accent right. That's uh, was a very distinctive and, and important thing for me. And then uh, I was lucky to have a good relationship with Nicky, which helped a lot, you know, because uh, he was the, 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 the best source, you know, to give me information that you, you can't get anywhere else. Um, so, yeah, but as Chris said, it's an ongoing process. And it's an interesting job for an actor to play real characters because you have to find the right balance between you know getting certain things right and um, but then not imitating just imitating this this person but to to find the freedom to create and approach uh, um, the character um, uh, just by yourself and giving and adding things to it. I would like to know uh, if um, sometimes you watch yourself in the mirror, telling to yourself. Well, I, I did something good. So. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I don't, I don't have a rival. Rush is all about rivalries, and I, I don't really have a rival. Uh, but I do feel very competitive and with myself. And so it's a little bit of a problem, but when I look in the mirror, I usually say, all right, what, you, you can be even better. There's something more you can do. Because every, every movie is a great possibility. And, um, and it's my job as the director to try to fulfill that. You asked earlier, you know, when do I know if I'm satisfied? I'm probably never entirely satisfied with a movie. It does reach a point where I've exhausted everything I can think of. <laughs> and at that point, it's time to stop and share it with audiences and hope for the best. I've been very happy, by the way, people have been responding to, uh, to Rush. What is your favorite Ron Howard's movie. Besides Rush. Exactly. Willow. Mm. You seen Willow? Apollo, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> Apollo 13. <laughs> What's it about? Apollo <laughs> Prove it. Midget. <laughs> uh, no, and, uh, Witches. <laughs> and uh, Beautiful. Oh, it's, it's hard to Beautiful decide, Mind, right? Apollo yeah. 13, Backdraft. Frost Nixon. Frost Nixon, yeah, yeah. Missing. Yeah. Mm hmm. All of them. I mean, Cocoon. I grew up on Cocoon, yeah. I grew up on Parenthood. See, this is yeah, the problem. You start yeah. to unravel the, uh, the list and it just keeps and going. And the one with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Ed, T Ed TV? No. Ed TV, there Ed you go. TV. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about a Splash? Splash? Oh, Splash, of course. The Vinci Code, yeah. He's the best. He's one of my favorite directors. Maybe, possibly my favorite. Like, if I look at... The, the diversity of his films and from comedy to drama and mm -hmm. you know that's, that's what's so great about Ron and this everyone was like you know Ron Howard doesn't make a sexy film yet it's mm -hmm. he kind of you know mm -hmm. absolutely sums up the glamour and sexiness and the glory of Formula One in the 70s you know um, and I just watched a Toronto a documentary that he made about Jay-Z yeah it is hip -hop. completely different hip-hop you yeah. know so uh, and it was great 